Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So um, they didn't get all the things they needed to. So we put it back to them. So next year, in, in their seventh year, they will go out. Um, so, yeah. so that's basically what the school is. Um, we, the plan is to have the school at another point on the site. Okay, do me a favor. Uh, there's a big roll in the thing, the drawings for the site. Can you do me a favor and get it? Um, tell whoever it's in the house. It's next to the big settee, but next to the red toolbox. Um, so that's basically the school, right? At one point, we had more teachers than we had children. Now we're struggling. Uh, most of the teachers don't want to teach here um, because they say the work's too hard. Uh, you have to understand, the teachers in Ghana do as little as is possible, uh, and they get away with it. Mm, so um, I'm not exactly popular with teachers. So George is about the only one that stayed with us for more than two years. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, they don't need this kid to stay with us very long because um, they say we put too much pressure on them. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, the, the, the reality is that our children need to learn yeah. and they deserve people who are willing to put their all into teaching. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Yeah, as far as you mm -hmm. So um, um, that's fair. Right. Now the other sections of Darby Town is there's supposed to be like a medical center and eventually an hospital. Yeah. Um, there's communal farming. Yeah. Um, and what happened is in the early days, because there was no people, it was just me, what I did was I tried to start to develop those bits of the site and do um, some engineering work that needed to be done on the site. Um, when I came, large parts of the site were uh, waterlogged. Mm -hmm. um, the reason for the waterlogging is a strata clay that runs at an angle across the land. So I had to dig it out, put down hard core and sand and stuff to drain off the water, because the water was being trapped by the pipe. Mm -hmm. that's, that's um, so we've dealt with that, um, even though it's tending to come back because of the bulldozing that we did, all of the drainage channels and stuff, I've got filled in, so I've got to clear them back out. Yeah. Um, but, but, um, now, the land is good for farming. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Not just one, just one, one, one big one, one of the biggest ones, yeah? Mm -hmm. one the just take out one, 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 just take out one big one, and take that one as well. Right, um, right, so the, the, the idea behind Garvey Town is a community with few food security one. Yes? Okay. So we should be able to feed ourselves. Okay. Um, a community that, uh, no, it's up the other way. You got it? No, 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 no. no 90 degree turn. 90 degree turn. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. 90 10. Yeah. Right. Um, right. A community that can feed itself, a community that provides employment for its members. Yes? Yes. Right. Um, a community that is integrated. Right? Now, let me say this again. Right? If you plan to come to Africa, to load it over the people here. Garvey Town is not the project for you. That's right. Okay? Right? Uh, we didn't choose the name Garvey Town by accident. Right? Uh, I am a Garvey. Yes? 
The only thing that me and Marcus Garvey disagree about is the one God did. Right. Because he was a Christian. Right. All right. Right? Me either. So, because of that, me and Garvey disagreed about that issue. Mm -hmm. Yeah? But aside from that, me and Garvey don't disagree about nothing else. All right. <laughs> right? Okay? So, the, the, the project is based around a number of different services. Um, we had a look at Udemy, it being sustainable, yes? Mm -hmm. um, for the project to be sustainable, part of what we needed to talk about was what we were going to do with our waste. Right. Yes? Mm -hmm. So we designed into the project uh, sewage treatment, yes? And we designed into the project like waste disposal, right? Um, we try and get out anything that can be recycled and get that off to those who will recycle it. And then we find ways of dealing with whatever waste that we produce. Mm -hmm. But if you read one of our documents, you will see that we talk about like not using plastics. Like, you know what I mean? Um, us creating like, you know, plastic, um, paper bags to use so that makes it easier for us to dispose of right. waste when you think plastic waste it's not, it's not easy to get rid of yeah, right so that's also part of the thinking so we are hoping that the people who come on board yes are people who are willing to think about all of these things yes um right when the project was designed part of it was that we would store rainwater, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right? Um, we something had bro been brought to my attention that I didn't know too much about um, was the different chemicals and stuff that they put in the water that comes out of taps. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, um, and when it was brought to my attention, one of the first things we did was we designed into the project a number of these tanks. Yeah. We will collect rainwater mm -hmm. and then pipe the rainwater to every house. Mm -hmm. As well as this pipe water here. We've got pipe water for pressure. So you can use the pipe water for bathing and those kind of things. Mm -hmm. But if you're gonna use water for drinking, you're better off using rainwater through a filter and drinking it. Yeah? Then question. So is that the borehole or is that the... No, no, no. It's different. Okay. Yeah. There, there is this pipe water which is from Konyaku Reservoir, which it is. Konyaku Reservoir services part of Accra with water. So even when they turn off the water, all that happens here is that the pressure goes down slightly. Um, the, the, on your houses for the pipe water, you're going to have to have really good regulators um, because otherwise the water pressure will destroy your tanks. Yeah, the water pressure here is very high. Yeah. So, so where are we located on this now? Right. Um, where we're located is about here. Mm -hmm. This building. Yeah. Yeah. This building mm -hmm. yeah, is about here. Right. Okay. Um, the first three cul-de-sacs that we were talking about mm -hmm. are these three. Mm -hmm. Right. This area is mostly farmland. This piece here is going to be a chicken farm. Um, it's free range. Yeah. So there's a building there already. Um, we did it for a little while, but um, the idea behind it wasn't to try and sell the thing in the local market. So it shut down. But we will get it up and running. Yeah. Um, and then this will be mostly a communal farm. There'll be an hospital here, yeah. Uh, this building that's there that I'm using as a house at present is part of the hospital. It's not, um, <laughs> right? Um, I built it because by next year I am going to have to have uh, some form of medical facility running here, yeah. right? Um, because otherwise I will again be in breach of the contract that we think. Uh -huh. 
Mm. Yes, by the end of next year. 2020. <coughs> by the end of 2020, um, we must have a, some form of medical facility here. Okay. Right? Um, right. Uh, there's going to be a police station here, which is when you look, I don't know, some of you might have looked up. When you look up, you see as far as you can look. Right. The police station is going to be just there where the road turns. Yeah? So, um, there, right? Will it, be, will it be community based, people within the community policing their own yeah. community, or it be an outsource? Right. What, right. what it is, is it's going to be um, our own security, yes, Derby Town Police, and we will be given three officers, the discussion we had with them, we'll be given three officers that will do the, not just Garvey Town, but outside as well, right? But they will uh, let our security be um, legal, yes? Like if you have to arrest somebody or you, know, you find a trespass or a thief or whatever, um, those police officers there will make what we're doing legal. We've had the discussions with the police, we build, once we build a place, they will station officers there mm -hmm. and they will also offer us the training that we need for our security so that we work hand to hand with God on police service. And so the police services and our security will maintain the whole perimeter? Our security services will maintain the perimeter. Oh, okay. The police will be here for if someone commits an arrestable offense. Okay. Right? And we will be providing them with a station that the only other station near here is Dominatic. And it's not in, it's not a very good building. The cells are archaic and stuff. So if we build a proper thing here, then they will obviously be willing to use it. Yeah? So is that that's also contractual? Um, it's, uh, this, uh, the, the police service has told me um, they won't sign a contract mm -hmm. on it, right? But um, once we build a building and we offer it to the police service for use, um, because of the lack of facilities, they will jump at it. Right. right? And I was told this by senior, senior police officers. But they're not monitoring us. They're just here to train our staff to look. No, can I can I say I, I, I must be thing right? Um, I've been in Ghana uh, sixteen years in a couple of weeks. Um, the only thing that worries me about police officers is when they're looking for a small shop, yeah. The Ghana police is not America, it's not you. Okay. Yeah? Um, a policeman is doing something, you disagree with him, you can argue with him. <laughs> you can literally argue with the police here. They're not, um, even in most other places I've been in Africa. And not. Ghana police. Um, Apart from the fact that they're not paid as well as they should be, mm -hmm. right? And they're not equipped as well as they should be, yeah? So that causes petty corruption, yes? Yeah. Yeah. Apart from that, they're an ideal police service. <laughs> Apart from the petty corruption and the lack of facilities, they're an ideal police service. Plus we have numbers we can go high up anyway, so yes. no worry about that. You would be. Yeah. Um, they, the, 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 the police are very good, yeah, um, but when it comes to detecting, finding somebody who's committed a crime, they're not equipped. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. <laughs> I was just concerned about him yeah. to infiltration. You know how. No, no, no that's not Ghana. That's not Ghana police service. Uh, they don't have that. They don't have that yet. <laughs> no, 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 not yet. No, yeah. and, and, and hopefully enough of us will come to make them realize they don't need it. <laughs> right. Um, this area here is set aside for educational facilities. Right. Um, so we're in the process of. That's where the school's going to go, and we build a permanent building. We've already designed that the first building for the school. Right, um, in each cul-de-sac you see an area like these areas, 
right? Um, they will be for community activities, sports, um, recreation, yes? Um, so that we, every sport that we would like to do, some people might want to play basketball, so we'll have a basketball court somewhere on Garby Town. Some people like to swim, we have a swimming pool somewhere on Garby Town. We're not having people building big houses with swimming pools, and that's not what Garby Town is about. It's about community. Yes? So we will put in all of the things on what we call Founders Call, the sack up here. Um, it's an area for us to gather, um, and also an area where like weddings, funerals, namings, um, even the rites of passage, um, ceremonies and stuff will be carried out. Okay. Yeah. So that's why it's, that area is so big. It's not a sports facility. It's actually a gathering ground for the community. Maybe like an outdoor arena? Yes. Kind of like yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. That's what it is. It will have like seats. Um, you would need and open your spaces so we can do things. Yeah? But, yeah. Um, and then the rest of them are the same. Right. This piece here um, is still under negotiations. We want to get it back. Um, it's a village, a squatter village. That's mm -hmm. it. Right? Um, so we want to get it back. But that's not done there. Um, these areas are set aside for farming. This is going to be our business centre. Right? You said business? A business center. Um, it's not exactly a shopping mall in terms of uh, there'll be like builders, merchants, and that kind of stuff there as well. Uh, there'll be offices where like accountants and that kind of thing. So it's like we call it a business center. It's a mix of things, both you would be like retail things, some manufacturing, and you would be so you know, I mean, office facilities. Um, so like that's about um, as much as I can just uh, say about Garvey Town, right? Uh, we are, right, and always will be a family project. Okay. Okay. The African family. Yes. Yes. Years ago. Dr. Clark told me, close your eyes, imagine a world in which there's nobody else but us, right? And when I realized that that's the solution to our problem, yeah, I live my life with that. What we need to do is stop thinking about other people and just think about us. That's simple. Yeah, and that's what this project is. Yeah, it's the first step. Yes. Yes. Um, the, the idea is when we establish this in Ghana, we will train young people and we will send them out to two other African countries and set up. And then they will also do the same. Yes. So that as it grows, we will fund the development of these centers in every country in Africa. When what we're hoping is when the people realize that they need to stop looking outside yes. and look to themselves, mm -hmm. then the rebirth of Africa will yeah. take yeah. place. Yeah. Yes? Okay. Okay. Right? Okay. So that's what it is about. I think. Anybody wants to ask some questions? I have a question. When it comes to receiving mail, mail mm -hmm. is there one central location for right. people going to receive right. mail? Or um, to? Okay. The idea was, um, and the post office says that we can build a building for a post office. Okay. And, um, like, literally, it's supposed to be post office boxes, mm -hmm. but what we talked about when we was we have that system so the post office delivers the mail here mm -hmm. and then we deliver the mail to each house oh, okay. yes mm -hmm. so we don't have to have boxes in which your mail is there and you have to come we just deliver the up i've been living in england there's a hole in your door and the postman comes and push your <laughs> letter through if it's something big then they tell you to come to the post office and pick it up 
DHL, FedEx, to cover this area also? Uh, no. The, the truth is, uh, all of those services, if you get a package to Ghana, uh, they'll do your phone call and you go to their office and pick it up. And all of those offices are often in the prop? They're all over the place. Okay. There's some at Winnebar, um, there's one in Kaswa, mm -hmm. and so on. Okay. Would be. They're, they're all over the place. My concern is that perimeter. Uh -huh. This one right here. Uh -huh. What's this? Right. Um, it, we call it our security zone. Okay. Um, it will be uh, at different points, here, 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 like that, yes, at the end of each cul-de-sac, there will be um, an apartment block. Okay, right? apartment block? Yeah, uh, 20 apartments. Um, uh, when we'd finished designing the project, uh, my eldest, no, my youngest boy, or second youngest boy now, pulled me up and said, when we don't want to live with you old folks no more, um, where do we go? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So, um, we've designed for, it's, there's 14 blocks here, and then there'll be another one over here. Yeah? Okay. Right? Um, and then, between them, yes, will be... different kinds of sensors and stuff to let us know who's coming in okay. and out of the community. There will be no walled community. This ain't no prison. Oh, okay, okay. Right? So I ain't building no prison fence around us. Okay. Right? Um, but also, I am not stupid enough to believe that everybody around here is going to be converted into ideal citizens either. <laughs> oh, there you go. Right? <laughs> yeah. So we're going to um, think. So part of it will be um, plants, yeah? Okay. The wall to the site will be plants, yeah? Uh, they look lovely in the flowering season. Um, not so lovely when they're not flowering, but um, if you try and walk through them, you'll get pretty badly cut up by thorns and stuff. Okay. Yeah? And then we put up some sensors and stuff to know when people move in that area. And that's what so that means. also be covered by security? Yes. With the sensors and yes. stuff? Okay. So the security, the office that we're going to build, okay. we'll have their cameras now. When we started, it was quite expensive. Now, yes. we can do it for like one twentieth of what it originally was going to cost. The cameras are now there, all the equipment is now there. We feed it to one particular point and the security people at the police station will be able to look on a monitor, right? Somebody's moving in this area, right? Let's go and see, send somebody over there to see exactly what's going on, why there's a person there that that's not supposed to be there. Okay. Right. Um, anything else? Can I get a close-up of that? Yeah. Anybody that wants um, the small ones, uh, yes. A3, yes. uh, we can get, we'll have to pay the photocopying costs and we'll, we'll do it for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I want a small version. Yeah. yeah. Right. Um, so Oh, yeah, Did you take it back to the house? Okay. No, please. No, the it's game. It's it's game. It's 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 no, I'm fine. We're fine because uh, it's online. The yeah. money's still there. Uh -huh. Okay. So you don't have to do that. Yeah. All right then. Forget it. Okay. Right. Um, right. Anything else that anyone wants to think?
The ancestors are smiling on us. The rain is stopped. Yes. So <laughs> we're going to take a walk into the land. We're take a walk into the land. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Why you guys? So take a please, walk before you go. Can you gather the children here so we yeah. can talk to them and still give yes. them posters? Yes. Yes. Please, before you go. Yes, please. It's, it's not my turn. I have to take over. They have some presentation for us. Uh -huh. yeah. My school children. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I want to collect them. Mm -hmm. Then they have a word with my children. Then you move to whatever you have to do. Mm -hmm. So please, bear with me. We all move, uh, and now the rain has stopped. We just move on the way the canopies are, and then we get things going, and we, we, we go ahead. Thank you. Excellent. Oh, 